Africa is often touted as the poorest continent in the world, and this might lead some to think everyone is barely getting by. However, the reality is Africa, like every other continent, has a small percentage of mega-wealthy individuals whose combined fortune surpasses that of the masses a hundredfold. In this video, we are going to be bringing all the scoop, the latest and freshest details about Africa's super-rich and the different industries they are invested in. Here on the African continent, billionaires don't frugally spend their fortune and to avoid public resentment like in most other continents. When it comes to money, nobody flaunts it the way Africans do. So sit back, relax, and grab your popcorn as we explore the richest man in every African country. We shall chronologically run through every African country on the map. Algeria, Isad Rabrab, Born May 27, 1944. Isad Rabrab is an Algerian billionaire businessman, CEO of the Sevital Industrial Group, the largest private company in Algeria, active in steel food, agribusiness, and electronics. With a personal net worth of $5.1 billion, it's safe to say Isad has money to splurge and even more, just in case. His journey to success was far from easy, though. This is because he had to flee the country due to terrorist attacks that crippled all his investments. However, a determined Isad returned to Algeria a while later and started the Sevital Agribusiness Group in 1998, and the rest, as they say, is history. Angola Jose Eduardo dos Santos, born 28 August 1942, is an Angolan politician and former head of state from 1979 all the way up to 2017. Mr. Eduardo dos Santos, however, will be remembered for leading one of the most corrupt regimes in Africa by ignoring the economic and social needs of Angola and focusing his efforts on amassing wealth for his family and silencing his opposition, while nearly 70% of the population lives on less than $2 a day. He amassed an estimated fortune of about $20 billion, making him one of the wealthiest leaders in the world. Benin. Thomas Bonnier, born July 1, 1951, is a Beninese banker and politician who served as president of Benin from 2006 to 2016. He also chaired the African Union from 2012 to 2013. Because it doesn't matter what pan-African bank you mention, I assure Thomas Boney, Ye has headed them all, from the Central Bank of West African States to the West African Development Bank among other institutions before finally standing as one of the 26 candidates in the 2006 presidential election, winning a surprising 35.8% of the electorate. Mr. Thomas Boney Ye has a modest net worth of around $5 million, a mere shadow of the net worth of most people on our list today. Botswana, Abdul Sadr Dada, age 77, is a Botswanan businessman with holdings in various sectors of the economy. Through his association Investment Development Corporation, or AIG, Dada has made numerous ventures including motor vehicle dealerships, printing and publishing, steel manufacturing, property, agribusiness, and telecommunications. Dada has an estimated net worth of around $50 million. Burkina Faso, Blaise Compeor, born 3rd February 1951, is a former politician who was president of Burkina Faso for a 27-year long term in office after staging a coup in 1987 that led to the death of then-president, Thomas Sankara. Mr. Compeor has an estimated net worth of $275 million. It is said that he owes his massive fortune to smart stock investments and substantial property holdings. If you are still watching this video, it means you enjoy it. Please take a second and hit the like button. It is absolutely free. Let's move on. Burundi. Mohamed Duji, age 46, is Africa's youngest billionaire. Mo Duji is a former politician and owner of the MTL Group, a conglomerate started by his father. He single-handedly transformed his father's business from a measly $30 million to $1.5 billion in valuation today. 
Kate Ferd, Jorge Carlos Fonseca, age 71, is a Kate Ferdian politician, lawyer, and university professor who served as president from 2011 to 2021. He has an estimated fortune of about $9 million. It is believed that Jorge Carlos amassed his fortune during his tenure as president of Cape Verde. Cameroon, El Haji Baba Amadou Dampolo, age 70. Baba Amadou Dampolo has an estimated net worth of $940 million, making him the wealthiest man in Cameroon and Francophone Africa in general. From humble beginnings, this former truck driver built one of the greatest and most successful business portfolios in Africa, especially in the agriculture and aviation industry. Central African Republic Fidel Gwanjika, born April 20, 1955, Fidel is a former communications minister for the Central African Republic. Mr. Fidel's actual net worth is undisclosed and currently unavailable, but with his numerous five-star hotels and stake in the telecommunications giant Sakatel, it's safe to say the man has some really deep pockets. Chad. It's unclear exactly who the wealthiest person in Chad is. The closest lead we have on this is late President Idris Deby, who was killed in an ambush last year. As to what happened to his almost $50 million fortune, while well, it most likely is held by his successor, his son Mahamat Deby. Comoros Comoros is quite a poor country with nominal GDP of just north of a billion dollars and exports of only about $19 million, coupled with heavy reliance on foreign aid. Not much is known about the wealthiest man in this country, but sources reveal it's likely to be the country's president, Azali Asamani. Congo The Republic of Congo is usually confused with the Democratic Republic of Congo, but they are two separate countries. The wealthiest person here is unclear, however, according to sources. The most likely person is none other than Denis Sassuso, who has held office since 1997. DRC The Democratic Republic of Congo is home to a vast amount of mineral resources, and as such, business in these areas is lucrative. The wealthiest person in the DRC is the businessman turned politician, Moise Katambay, age 57. Katambay served as governor of Katanga State from 2007 to 2015. He owns a variety of companies in the sectors of mining, transport, and food processing. His estimated net worth is around $60 million. Djibouti After Amin Bor Bor is a Djibouti businessman with dual French and Djibouti citizenship. He has lately fallen out of favor with the government of Djibouti, who froze his assets in the country. Bor is currently residing in the UK, where he has been cleared of all charges by UK court. His personal fortune is a matter of speculation, but according to sources, it stands somewhere north of $120 million. Egypt Nasef Sawiris, age 61 Nasef's personal fortune as of the recording of this video stands at a jaw-dropping $8.7 billion. Nasef is the current chairman and CEO of Oriscom Construction Industries, and his hands are also spread across a number of other ventures including the stock exchange, Adidas, and the Premier League club Aston Villa FC. Equatorial Guinea Teodoro Obiang Ma and Basogo Teodoro is the current president of Equatorial Guinea, a position he has held since 1979. He has a net worth of over $200 million. Teodoro is also the second longest serving non monarch head of state in the world after Cameroon's Paul Bia. Eritrea Isaias Afwerki, age 71. Isaias is Eritrea's current president and head of the Eritrean People's Liberation Front. He has a personal fortune of $180 million. Eswatini, Nadi Kirsch, age 90, is a Swazi businessman with Eswatini citizenship. He is also an investor who holds stakes in establishments such as Jetro Holdings, as well as investments in Australia, Eswatini, the US, and Canada. 
He has a personal fortune of $5.4 billion. Ethiopia Mohamed Alamadi, age 75, is an Ethiopian-Saudi billionaire, real estate developer, and oil magnate who owns various refineries in Sweden and Morocco. He has a net worth of $6.9 billion. Gabon, Seydou Kane, age 57, is the wealthiest man in Gabon. Though born Malian, Seydou, however, made his fortune in Gabon where he launched his retail business alongside being a renowned importer and exporter. His exact net worth is undisclosed, but according to sources, his personal fortune is around $90 million. Gambia Alubm Kante, age 70, is a Gambian businessman who works in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He is currently the chairman of Vodacom Congo, a mobile service provider. His stake in Vodacom is set to be worth around $1.5 billion. Ghana Charles Ampofo Ampofo, aged 60, is currently the wealthiest man in Ghana, according to AMC and Forbes. Charles Ampofo is the chairman and founder of Campac Group. He owns investments in many countries including Greece, Canada, Ivory Coast, and Nigeria. He has a personal net worth of $1.4 billion. Guinea, Mamadou Silla, born 25 January 1960, is a Guinean politician and business leader. Silla was one of several people given large amounts of rice by the government to retail. Becoming wealthy, he moved to Conakry and became a senior judge. Silla was subsequently awarded a large number of government contracts, becoming recognized as Guinea's richest man in Guinea even though his net worth is undisclosed. Guinea-Bissau Carlos Domingos Gomes Jr. Carlos Domingos, aged 71, is the wealthiest man in Guinea-Bissau and prime minister of the country. His personal net worth is undisclosed, but sources say it's north of $10 million. Ivory Coast Kon de Sangui is an Ivorian businessman with investments in banking, telecoms, agro-industry, including cocoa through the Atlantic Cocoa Corporation. Kon de Sangui's personal net worth stands at a solid $6 billion. Kenya Binji Depar Shah, age 90, is a Kenyan businessman, industrialist, and entrepreneur. He is the founder and current chair of the Bidco Group of Companies. Binji Depar is said to have a personal net worth of $700 million. Lee Sotho, Sam May Kane. May Kane is Lesudu's wealthiest man. He is the chairman of Miso Diamond Limited. Sam May Kane's net worth can't be exactly estimated because, unlike Americans, Lesudu doesn't like publicizing their riches. I don't know why rich people in Lesudu don't do that, but they just don't. The only way to make a rough estimation of a person's net worth in Lesudu is through his assets. Liberia Benoni Wilfred Yuri, age 64, is a Liberian businessman and politician. Benoni was also formerly the Liberian Commissioner of Maritime Affairs. He currently owns Lone Star Communication Cooperation and a stake in MTN Liberia, Liberia's largest mobile service provider. He has a personal fortune of about $33 million. Libya Saif al Islam Gaddafi, age 49, is the second son of late Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi. Saif served under his late father and is likely to have inherited a fortune after his passing. Gaddafi was awarded a PhD from the London School of Economics. He is said to be a very wealthy man, even in captivity. He owns a couple of properties and businesses around the world, particularly in London, UK, which continue to line up his pocket. He has a personal fortune of $5 billion. Madagascar Elias Akbarli, age 63, is a Malangasy businessman of Indian origin. With investments in industry, technology, aviation, and broadcasting, he has a personal fortune of $700 million. Malawi, Thompson Mping Njira. He is a Malawian businessman and current chairman of FDH Financial Holdings. He has a net worth of $220 million. 
Mali. Mamadou Sinzi Kalibali, age 66, is a Malian businessman with numerous companies in countries such as the US and France and is the current chairman of the Kledu Group. He has a personal fortune of $60 million. Mauritania, Mohamed Udbamatu, age 66, is a Mauritanian businessman with assets in Mauritanian Airways Metal, which is Mauritania's leading mobile service operator. He also has shares in Mauritania's leading bank, GBM. He has a personal fortune of $89 million. Mauritius, Arnaud Lages. Lages is the current CEO of IBL. He is one of the Mauritian private sector's most prominent leaders. He has a personal net worth of $130 million. Morocco, as is Akinouch. Age 61 is a Moroccan businessman, and he is also the current Prime Minister of Morocco since his government took office in October of 2021. He is also the chairman of the Aqua Group. He has a personal fortune of $2.2 billion. Mozambique, Jose Zilhau, age 70, is a businessman and oil and gas magnate who currently manages Moda and Jill. He has a personal fortune of $180 million. Namibia, Quentin Van Royen. Quentin is currently the CEO of Trusco, a financial services group that operates in sustainable high growth assets in emerging markets. He has a personal net worth of $1.2 billion. Niger, Mahamadou Isufu, aged 70, is Niger's former president and businessman who is also head of the Nigerian Party for Democracy and Socialism. He was the manager of Samer, a French mining company in the 90s. His net worth is about $1.5 million. Nigeria Aleko Dangote Unless you've been living under a rock for the past two decades, chances are you've heard of Aleko Dangote. Aged 64, is currently the wealthiest man in Nigeria and the entire African continent, a title he has held for the last two decades. He is the chairman and CEOs of the Dangote Group. His net worth rose in late 2021 to $19.2 billion with a B. Rwanda, Paul Kagame, aged 63, is the current president and wealthiest person in Rwanda. He has a personal fortune of $500 million. Sao Tome and Principe, Manuel Pinto da Costa. Manuel is the former president of Sao Tome and Principe. He actively had a major role in the independence of the country and has played a major role since then with two spells as president from 1975 to 1991 and then again from 2011 to 2016. He has a net worth of about $5 million. Senegal, Serene Mboup. Serene is the wealthiest man in Senegal and current CEO of the CCBM group. He has a personal fortune of $700 million. Seychelles, Danny Fora. Fora is the former president of Seychelles who served a four-year term from 2016 to 2020. He has an estimated fortune of $3 million. Sierra Leone, Ernest by Coroma. Coroma is a former Sierra Leonean politician who served as president from 2007 to 2018. He has a personal fortune of $100 million. Somalia, Abdi Bershi Dooley. Dooley, aged 4 to 5, is a Somali entrepreneur and multimillionaire and current CEO of Dahashil, an international funds transfer company. He is also the wealthiest person in Somalia. He has a personal fortune of $4.5 million. South Africa, Nikki Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is South Africa's wealthiest man, aged 76. He is the former CEO of De Beers Diamond Mining Company and of its subsidiary, the Diamond Trading Company. He has a personal fortune of $8.7 billion. South Sudan, Luda Lukak. 
Lukak is a South Sudanese businessman who mostly invests in the construction business. It is said that around 60% of the buildings in Juba are owned by Lukak. He has an estimated net worth of $360 million. Sudan, Mohamed Ibrahim. Mo Ibrahim, as he is popularly known, is the founder of Keltel International in 1998, the first mobile phone company serving Africa and the Middle East. He has a personal fortune of $1.1 billion. Tanzania, Mohamed Duji. Aged 46, is the CEO of Metal, a Tanzanian conglomerate founded by his father in the 1970s. He has a personal net worth of $1.5 billion. Togo, Meva Esohana Germain, aged 53. He heads one of the country's oldest IT companies, Sib Inta, and since October 2014, he has been elected head of the country's Chamber of Commerce and Industry. He has a personal fortune of $25 million. Tunisia, Monsef El Maturi. The 88-year-old businessman is credited with founding one of Tunisia's largest pharmaceutical companies. He has a personal fortune of $350 million. Uganda. Sudhir Ruparelia, aged 66, is the wealthiest man in Uganda. He is an investor of Indian origin and is currently the chairman and majority shareholder of the Ruparia Group. His investments include banking, insurance, education, broadcasting, and real estate. He has an estimated fortune of $1.2 billion. Zambia, Hakane Hichayama. Hichayama is a Zambian businessman and politician. Aged 56, he is the current president of Zambia and has a personal fortune of $340 million. And finally last, but certainly not the least the last country on our rich list. Zimbabwe, Strive Masiwa, aged 60, is Zimbabwe's wealthiest man. He currently owns about 60% of Econet Wireless Zimbabwe, the largest mobile service provider in Zimbabwe. He has a personal fortune of $2.6 billion. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give a sub to our channel and also like, and why not leave a comment down below to let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.